Unit 15 uh, only has one question, uh, question 55. And it's uh, consider the movement of some of the constituent animal cells when the cells are placed in pure water. So we're talking about cells in pure water. Which of the following is likely to move first and fastest across the cell membrane? So um, A has glucose. Glucose is a rather large, a relatively large molecule compared to the other uh, molecules that we're looking at. Glucose is relatively large. It is polar and crossing the plasma membrane uh, without any facilitated transport, any help. Uh, that's going to be uh, quite uncomfortable for glucose to do. Um, one of the answers is water. Water is, uh, is polar, but it's small. And, um, and compared to these other molecules, it is, um, uh, they are all charged. All these molecules are polar. And, and water is of a, a relatively small uh, size. Then you have amino acids. Amino acids, of course, they are dipolar. They're zwitter ions. Uh, meaning they have one end uh, which, uh, which has uh, um, the ammonia group, uh, really the uh, amino group, uh, but it's protonated, and the other end which has the carboxylic acid group, which is deprotonated. And so it's dipolar, it's quite charged, and amino acids are a lot bigger than water. They're significant size. And then you have sodium ions. That's the key word there. Is ions. That means this has a formal charge on it. It is not neutral. It is not free to cross the plasma membrane at all. Um, in fact, uh, the, um, the plasma membrane is very careful about keeping sodium, uh, uh, being able to keep sodium out. So these molecules, sodium, amino acids, and glucose, are not able to freely cross the plasma membrane because of size and charge. And of these, um, the one which is most likely to move first and fastest uh, would be water. So question 55, the answer would be B.